The library catalog in many of our databases search the titles, summaries, and other basic information about a source. Fewer tools search the entire text of the book or article. Searching the whole text can result in a lot of false hits or less relevant matches, where the terms you search for are only used in passing once or twice in a whole book. But searching this way can be useful for very specific inquiries, where even a small amount of information or discussion would be useful. One major tool for full text searching is Google Scholar, found at scholar.google.com. Unlike a regular Google search, Google Scholar searches a more restricted set of sources, drawing primarily on academic journals and scholarly repositories, though some other websites and student papers might make it through. Google Scholar searches the full text of these items, so you can more easily find those passing discussions of a topic. And you can link your Google Scholar profile to UWM's library, so that you'll see an option alongside your result to access the content through the library. This is important because many scholarly results will be in subscription journals and may be behind a paywall. If you find something you can't get directly, contact the library and we'll help you get a copy. Here's an example. If I want to learn about protest songs by LGBTQ songwriters, I may be interested not only in materials on that topic exactly, but also in mentions of queer artists inside a book about protest music or mentions of protest music within works about queer artists. I can use Google Scholar to search broadly and across full scholarly texts without getting into popular media or websites. While it isn't as comprehensive as a general web search or as focused as a database or library catalog, this kind of search can be helpful for some inquiries. Some of the results are freely available and others are not, but because I've linked my settings to my library, I can still use my library's subscription to access the interesting results I find.